How would you like to create a custom CDS view in your cloud system and expose it as an external API to provide read access to the data for external consumers, for example, applications on SAP Cloud Platform? There's an app for that. The Custom CDS View app lets you create your external API based on a custom CDS view. I'll show you how. Open the Custom CDS View app. I'll use the Sales Order Item view as an example. If you don't know which CDS view to use, you can preview the content in the View Browser app. Make sure to check the Access Protection column for the Access Protection properties. A CDS view that is set for privileged access only can't be used as the primary data source for an external API. Then click Create. Give your CDS view a name and enter a label. Select OData API to trigger creation of the OData API after you've published your custom CDS view. Then add your fields and maintain the field properties if required. For an OData API, you'll need at least one key field. Now publish your custom CDS view. Check the mess to see the name of your OData API. API. Copy that OData API name in a text file or jot it down. You'll need it in the next step, creating the communication scenario. And that's it in the Custom CDS Views app. Now open the Custom Communication Scenarios app. Create a new communication scenario and enter the ID and description. Maintain the inbound services to enable read access for external consumption because inbound communication defines how SAP S4 HANA business documents are consumed by a communication partner. Add your OData API to the inbound communication scenario. Publish your communication scenario. Open the Communication Arrangements app. Create a new communication arrangement. Choose the external API you created as Scenario and choose Create. Create a new communication system or choose an existing one depending on your requirements. In this example, we create a new system. Maintain the user for inbound communication information to enable logon and external access to your data. Just click the plus sign and then create a new user. Choose a username, description, and password. Write down the password. You'll use it to log on later for testing. Choose Create. Now the new communication user is automatically selected for the inbound communication. Confirm the selection and save the communication system information. As you can see, all information required for the communication arrangement is now filled in. Continue to save your communication arrangement to activate it. Copy the service URL you'll use to test your external API. Paste the service URL in your browser's address bar and log on. You can add dollar sign metadata to the end of the link to see more details about your API. That's it. Now, why don't you give it a try?